Hey gang, welcome back. Fletcher here again with DJ Event Planner. In our last Getting Started series video, we saw how to add a client and event into the system. Now that we have clients and events into the system, we need to do one important step before we can email those clients, and that is setting up our outgoing email server. So why do we need to set up our outgoing email server? In DJ Event Planner, we connect to your email server via the Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP. And in order to ensure that your clients receive your emails, you want to make sure that you have a successful connection set up to your email server prior to sending them a message. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do that. But before we begin, there are a couple different email programs out there that have a different set of security standards than others and require creating an app password and along with a few other setting changes in your email account. For those email providers, please look at the description for this video for links to those email providers. Before you even begin setting up your outgoing email server, make sure to check those links. And if your email provider is listed there, make sure to click that link and follow the setup guide to make sure that your outgoing server is going to be set up correctly. For the rest of us, it's important to understand what we need to set up our outgoing server. The first thing we need is our username. The second is a password. This is going to be either A, your email password, or if you are using one of those programs that require an app password, that app password. You also need to know what your outgoing SMTP server is. This is something that you can find from your email provider, either in the settings, the help FAQs, or simply doing a quick Google search. And then lastly, you'll need to know what port that your email provider likes to communicate on. Now with that said, let's begin. Where do we put these settings? Once you're logged into your DJ Event Planner account, go to Setup in the left menu, and then click on Email Settings. Here, you will see the different employee levels that you have in your account. So Master Administrator, Administrator, Salespersons, or Employees. If you don't have one of those specific levels, it won't appear here. Next to each one is an Expand button. In this case, I'm going to be setting up an Administrator's Outgoing Email Server. So I'm going to click on Expand next to Administrators. And here we can see this demo account. And the outgoing server box is gray, which means the outgoing server is not configured yet. So to do that, we'll click on the setup button next to the outgoing server. Here in this pop-up is where we're going to enter our server credentials. So in the mail username, we're going to enter our username for our email. 99% of the time, this is going to be your full email address. Under mail password, this is where we're going to put or enter our email password. Or if we're using one of the programs linked below, we're going to enter our app password that was created. In the outgoing SMTP server box, this is where we're going to enter the server. This is where we're going to enter the SMTP server that we got from our email provider. And then lastly, the outgoing port number is going to be selected based upon what your email provider has said to use. Most often, it's going to be either 465 or 587. Once you have your credentials entered, click on Save Settings. It will go through a connection, and if all is well, you'll get the success message that your email account settings were updated and you can close the window. Now, if something is incorrect with your credentials that you've inputted, when you go to click Save Settings, you'll receive a message like this, Error Unable to Connect. If you receive this error, make sure that the credentials that you've entered are 100% correct. If you are following one of the text guides for one of the email providers that we have provided, make sure that all the steps have been followed. If you are still receiving this error after making sure that your credentials are correct and all the steps are correct, you can click on Generate Detailed Error Report. This will create an error report for you that will provide a little bit more information as to why it wasn't able to connect. Here, we receive a connection failed with the detailed report below. If you are not familiar with reading through one of these reports, you can copy and paste this information and post it on the support forum. You can get there by going to either eventplannerforum.com directly or through support options in the left menu and then visit the support forum. And that's it as far as setting up your outgoing email server. However, if you still encounter errors or having difficulty setting up your outgoing email server, please visit the link in the description to visit our email troubleshooting guide. 
And as always, if you are still encountering issues after going through the text guides, reach out to our support via the support options in the left menu with live chat or the support forum.